Hello everybody and welcome to a game called Epic. I believe it's pronounced Epic. Some people call it Epoch. But uh, I see the little mini eye in the middle there, so I'm guessing it's called Epic. Just kind of a cool play on words there. Um, so this is a game by name. This is a game made by Nick Overleth. Uh, it's supposed to be a game kind of like a combination between um, Legend of Zelda and um, Dark Souls. Kind of like a combination between the two. You get the over the head 8 bit kind of like retro style, which is so awesome. It's like st so nostalgic. It brings me back to my Zelda days. Um, com combined with the Dark Souls essence, which. I love Dark Souls, but oh my god, I don't know if my blood pressure can take any more Dark Souls right now. <laughs> so as you can see, I started the game already, um, and I played a good like hour and a half, two hours, and I recorded the whole thing, and then my recording just blew up, and I don't know what the hell happened, and now I get to play it all over again for you, so yay! Oh, so you can... Okay, so I'll... <laughs> I'm just gonna start from the beginning like nothing happened. So we have uh, different races to choose from here. We have elves, which inhabit the dying city of Vestin. They are light and quick on their feet, making them difficult to hit. Uh, they get agile, which is plus 5% chance, chance to dodge attacks. Plus 5% chance to dodge attacks. I can't speak today, apparently. We have humans, which are natural healers, capable of bringing potent potions. 150% healing bonus, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That is one of the better choices, I feel like. Uh, orcs are hardy creatures. Uh, you get plus 200%. 200%. 200 plus more HP to start with. Um, dwarves are a long lost species raised in the mining city of Rossor, uh, where they developed a high resistance to injury. Uh, reduced damage taken by 10%. Uh, we got Growlians, otherwise known as the dead people. Looks like they have like little tentacles coming out of their mouths or something. Or is that their hands? Like, raised up? I don't know. So I, I heard that all the um, artwork for this game was done in paint, which is kind of cool. Cogmen are from the once sacred city of Clockwork and understand magic that no other race has ever attempted. Plus 10% magic damage. And beasts, they start off. Uh, they Beasts are humans who have been cursed by the god Rios. The beasts who weren't saved by the god Deros became feral creatures. And you start the game with a pair of claws. So, starting the game with a pair of claws, there's a, there's, there's a lot of these races where you start off with a little bit of a bonus, but it doesn't really carry over, such as like plus 200%, plus 200 HP. It's like, so what? 10% um, damage reduction, like, that's gonna work for that throughout the whole game, so that's, that's gonna be a good choice. Along with the 150% healing bonus as well, it would be a really good one uh, for, like, the War of Attrition to come if you're getting hit a lot. Starting the game with Claws sounds like so much fun, but the Claws are only gonna be good for, like, the first level, and then your, your race is useless. So I'm just gonna go with a, I'm just gonna go with Human. I'm also, I'm trying out the Steam controller here. It's really cool. It's a cool setup for a controller, and it, it's a great idea, but it's so much different than every, every, every other controller I've ever used, so it's hard to get used to. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Hello, Mr. Question Marks. I don't think he knows how punctuation works. Like, that's, you get, you use one of those, you get one, like, per sentence. You can't just, like, throw a whole bunch and then, and whatever. Anyways, I had no choice. Press E to advance dialogue. <laughs> Imagine saying that in real life. I had no choice. Press E to advance dialogue. Okay, uh, E is there. I can't remember what I have everything key bound to. Uh, I'm not one of them. I don't think I am, at least. But if I were to let you fulfill the prophecy, you would have only been disappointed. It's my fault the world is like this, not yours. I couldn't let you take responsibility for my actions. Oh, he sounds like a good guy. But you've grown so strong, I will try my best. But I can't stop you if you've made up your mind. Sounds like he's like your brother or something. Just know one thing. When all seems lost and there's no light left in you. When you feel like you're going to give in and lose touch with the world, know that I believed in you long enough for you to make it this far. Don't lose hope. There is light, and we will find it. No matter how many times it flickers, it will never truly go away. Don't lose that light. I believe in you. Oh, he took off his hat. He is not a pretty man. He's got a... Got like a heartless kind of look to him. Good luck, hero. Oh, I'm a hero! Yay! So, you control which way you swing with your with your mouse, and that's going to be using the trackpad, which seems very difficult for me to do in this... Um, oh, that's loud. The music in this game, too, is so cool. I, I don't know who did the music for this, who composed it and everything, but... Oh, God, it's so, like... It really gives you a sense of, like, nostalgia or something. Oh, crap. Uh, let's see, we got a note here. Dead man. Sarah. You have no chance defeating the Dark Warden, but his armor makes him slow. You may be able to outrun him. Don't try to fight. RUN! That's a good advice for the uh, the first boss we got coming up here. How's that left? That's right. Why does it say left? That's weird. Okay, well, 
My right stick is my left stick. Apparently my left stick is my right stick. Alrighty. Whack. 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 So this is sprint. This is dodge. Okay, I think I, I think I got the controls okay at least enough for the fighting the first little mini boss here. Okay, there we go. That's dodge. Oh god, it's so hard to aim. Holy shit. I like I like it better than using the keyboard though, but oh fuck. That is not fun. Oh god. So like, as you can see, like there's a big dodging mechanic to this game, uh, such as Dark Souls. Uh, but the playstyle and in the music and everything is much more similar to something like a Legend of Zelda type, uh, NES type game, you know. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty hard. Two hits and you're dead. <laughs> no joke. It's I'm, I've already taken one hit because I'm an idiot and I'm terrible at this game. Oh, he dodged my attack. That's not. Oh, and that's. Not, fuck. Uh, and when you swing, there's that there's that window in which oh god, this music's so loud. It's like I'm like yelling. Um, when you when you attack, there's this window. See, like where you can dodge. You have to wait half a second. Um, so that way you can't just like attack, dodge, attack, dodge. You know, right away and everything. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Retrieve my my monies. So instead of souls, this game uses uh, just regular gold coins. Uh, it's kind of oh fuck, I did not mean to dodge that way. So I'm liking the Steam controller so far compared to what the keyboard was. The only part that's hard is me aiming with the, with a the trackpad. It makes it a little more difficult, but I guess that's a good thing, considering uh, this game is supposed to be difficult. And I'm a Souls master, not really. Oh crap! I'm actually pretty. I'm actually not that great at the Souls games. You ever like see someone like you? You try forever on this boss, and oh fuck, come on! You see someone like you? You try forever on this boss, and then you see like a review like on how to kill a boss. Uh, on YouTube, and he kills it like in without, without even getting hit once. He kills it like naked, soul level one kind of shit. Like it just makes you feel like you you you, you failed in the in this universe. God, the trackpad aiming is so annoying. I'm gonna try just for a little while using the keyboard and mouse again because there's there's a couple glitches with the keyboard and mouse is the thing uh, to where when you hit certain buttons uh, they don't really work. Such as like, yeah, I don't. Aiming is so much easier, but the controlling you're moving is so much harder. Oh God, come on! See, I can't. Oh, fuck. There's those glitches, like I'm talking about. When you when you're moving, sometimes you click on a on a direction, and your character will just not move. They'll just stand still. And I don't know why it does that with the keyboard, but that's one of the glitches I don't like. That's why I switched the controller. Uh, just because using WSAD sometimes it just it doesn't work, and sometimes randomly your character like stop stop running and shit <laughs> like it's oh god. But the hitting part is so much more accurate when you're just clicking. Come on, just because of the way they have it set up with you can't lock on to characters or anything like that. It's it's purely directional, such as a game like uh, Enter the Gungeon or something. Oh crap! You do have a stamina bar. Uh, up at the top corner there. My little crappy sword does not take up much stamina, so I don't really have to worry about running out. But if you are sprinting around a lot and using like a big heavy axe like he is or something, you, could, you really do have to watch your stamina. Fuck! I hit, I hit dodge right then too. It just it's a little too late. I don't, I don't like controlling the moving around with that though. It's. I'm already, I'm already up to a horrible start here. I'm amazing at this game already, like I am with every game. I'm just so amazing. Fuck, no. So amazing. It's another thing too, is if you dodge into a wall, you bounce off the wall and you get stunned. I, I don't know why they added that into the game, considering these, these rooms are already so small to begin with. Uh, just to make it a little more challenging, I guess. What I hate about this first level is the fact that they have these little pots in here, and uh, you can't you can't really see them that well because they blend in with the background a lot. 
And so, I keep running into him and getting stuck when I was fighting this boss the first time. Oh, hello. No, come on! That's another thing they really need to take out this game. Uh, the first boss, if you show him your back at all and he's close to you, he'll backstab you. Which is really annoying because you're constantly having to run away from this boss and you're constantly showing your back to him. And there's almost no way to, um... There's almost no way to actually dodge, um, the backstab. If he's close to you and he's going, he wants to attack you, you are stunned during the animation and he will do it. And he just backstabs you for basically all your HP. Like that. I swung, I missed, because the sword is, like, ridiculous range. Like, you have to be literally on top of him, like, kissing him while you shake his liver. And, uh, if you miss and you try to dodge roll away real quick and, and face the other way, he'll fucking, like, backstab you. It's, it's fucking annoying. It's not like it's really punishing you for being a bad player. It's punishing you because your range is complete absolute shit with this first weapon. <laughs> And you really have to like actually just like I said, you have to be you have to like bump up against him and then swing. See that was that was way out of my range. Surprised he didn't backstab me there, I ran straight past him. Uh, come on. Using the trackpad to aim is not my favorite thing. Come What? What? <laughs> what? I ran up to him, faced him, stabbed him, and he got a backstab on me. What the fuck? That's just that's this mechanic needs to be taken out of the first boss. He dodged it. <laughs> Come on! Fuck this game! It's not even hard. The mechanics are so broken on it. He's not even fucking hard. Fucking weapon is shit. Just gonna go and kiss him on the mouth, little kiss. Every time I hit him, just mwah, slice, mwah, slice, mwah, slice, mwah, slice. It's fucking that's the only way you can do it. Is if you literally bump into him and then swing. Because the range is like, unless you're touching him, yeah, you can swing straight through him with this fucking weapon and it won't hit him. Because the range is that bad. See, I'm doing good, and then he's just gonna randomly fucking get some bullshit on me. Like a backstab, while I'm trying to run away, like something like that. And there's nothing I can fucking do about it. Like, right there, I'm surprised I didn't get backstabbed, because that's pretty much what happens every time. I swing at him, I miss, I go backstab. I go, like that. I swing at him, miss, I try to run away to dodge, and then he, I, he gets the backstab on me. I have a theory, like, something that should be done in this game, like, whatever way your mouse is pointing should be the way your character's facing or something, because it is the way you swing, but, like, if you're trying to run away from the boss and you're swinging towards him, you, sh you shouldn't be able to get backstabbed that way. Like, if I'm facing him like this, it shouldn't be a backstab, in my opinion. Because it's technically the way I'm, my, I'm, my direction is going. Oh my god, yes, look at that, perfect! So good, okay. And look, see the difference in this first weapon you get is the Warden Axe, damage 90, blunt 11. So it does, you know, 101 damage compared to my 7. <laughs> Dark Woodens are empty vessels, forever searching for an essence pure enough to save them. Aw, poor little guy, you're empty inside. Well, now you're dead inside, so yay. Also, the cool thing is you can you can actually uh, do wield weapons, which is cool, because there's actually a reason um, to do it, and that is you can swing with a heavy weapon and then swing real quick with a fast weapon. Or you can close the distance, fast swing, and then boom, you know, swing with the heavy, follow it up. Get little bootsies. My little bootsies. Uh, leather boots. So, the, it's weird, the different items, so mage boots obviously give you more mana. Um, fuck, I'm gonna sneeze. I can't, I'm gonna sneeze, it's like right there on the edge. Look up. <coughs> oh, fuck, there we go. Almost lost my headphones in that sneeze. Okay, 
Uh, level one out of five leather boots. Oh, that's another thing, too. I forgot. You can level up your character. Oh, crap. Hit my mic here. You can level up your character, or you can level up your equipment. It's kind of a cool little thing. So here you get your levels up. You can um, you can put points into more damage, more spells, more defense, more luck and whatnot. Um, uh, all agi and whatnot. Or you can go for stamina and charisma and all that kind of stuff. Or you can level up your equipment, which will give you more, you know, defense and whatnot. Or, um, obviously, more damage. So just just for you guys out there who are wondering, you can actually go over. Oh crap! You can't go over there now for some reason. But in the first room, if you uh, crouch down, which is shift by default, <laughs> and if you basically just become this little head with legs, uh, you can actually go straight down from your spawn point, and you can just skip over the first boss. There's like a little entry uh, thing there. I don't. I think you can do it. I don't think you have to open it up. But I found it by going around the whole level and coming back to it. Um, you actually end up figuring that out. So, yet. Sarah's Red Essence. So you find these little floaty balls, and these floaty balls will tell you stories. Um, they're, they're sitting there, and they tell you about, like, kind of how you died. You, you can, like, you can hear about what they were saying right before they died. And uh, usually, <clears throat> I think every single one you find will give you a point to level up with. Uh, this one is Sarah's Red Essence. Uh, so Sarah, that was the girl we read about in the first note there. So obviously she tried to run away from the boss, didn't make it very far. She ended up dying. Oh, she became sick. Um, I've become sick. I think my memories are beginning to fade away. John has done a fine job nursing me for so long, but I haven't seen him since he joined the small party trying to locate an escape from this place. John's so brave. It'll be no time before they find a way out. Erg. It hurts. <laughs> I don't know why I said erg. <laughs> it reminds me of Monty Python. Uh... <laughs> If you're dying, you wouldn't bother writing. Ugh, you just die. <laughs> okay, um, so this person, uh, you get you get a level up point, and we also get our flasks here. Our flasks of potions. Uh, basically the same thing as Estus flasks. Every time you save, you get to a save point, you refill the, the potions, and uh, you can drink them, and you get more health. Did I lose any health? No, I literally only have two freaking healths. Oh my god. My character is so squish squish. I'm so squish squish. Don't invest points into dodge. Just get good, kid. Okay. Well, I've already looked at that enough. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put one point into um, just health because I'm a squish squish right now. So boom, I just leveled up that. I got more health. Cool. We're good to go. Uh, if I go back and I save it, it'll fill up my health, which <laughs> gave me just a small, little, tiny amount more. Leveling obviously doesn't give you a whole bunch in this game. God, see that axe just hits so hard. Okay. <clears throat> Tap shift to dodge roll. I kind of already knew that. Fighting the boss there. Sword and shield. Uh, okay, we'll go into my inventory now. I'll go with my sword to be my right. Do I need a shield? Sturdy. I want to try out sword and shield combat. I really haven't done that yet. And I want to make this character different than my... Boom. Oh, God, that's awesome. It just blocks 100% of the damage that I just took right there. With my shield. Okay, these little floors will break, so you have to sprint across them. I just know this because I've already played... Uh, this game just up until the first the first I completed this one I got to this first seating and I went to the second dungeon already so up until that point I'm good uh, we have leather armor here which gives me more health and then the, the other one gives you more armor and poise this one gives you it's so weird how the weapon how the equipment works because the boots will give you more poise leather boots but the iron armor will give you more poise doesn't really make sense to me <laughs> you like that don't you yeah. Oh god, I took so much damage. Oh, I have so much more health now from those from that freaking chess piece I got. Hell yeah. Okay. Now we'll go this way. We can go this way. And then you see these little when you see like a little path uh, with a wall here, I'm pointing with my sword. <laughs> uh, you can hold down shit and you can crouch through them. So there you go. Uh, we got another note here. Last will. When I die, my essence will likely remain here. So it's the essence, it's not a soul. Uh, I've done many a good deed, but it is not pure. Please, if you find this note, free my essence. Let me ascend to the heavens. Use my being to take flight and rid the world of these wretched wardens. You got John's yellow essence. So John was the leader, like I heard from Sarah, of this whole brigand that they had here, trying to escape this dungeon. Uh, there's no hope left in me. The small party we gathered together to try and escape this horrid place has failed. The warden is far too strong. We are but livestock to him. Oh my god, so the warden just ran through here and just slaughtered all these people. Uh, when he discovered our attempt to escape, we were all imprisoned in this cell. Gur was able to dig himself out of it, also freeing his brother. But it's too small of a hole for me to fit through. Oh, he died because of that. Oh, he couldn't fit. He's too fat. 
I doubt they'll come back for me. I don't blame them. This place turns people savage. Sarah's been left alone for so long. I can only hope she is well. Aw, he cared for Sarah. Uh, just a note there was all that was there. Uh, cool. So yellow essence unlocks new powers. If I hold sprint now while jumping near a gap, I can jump over the gap. And if you remember, in the very beginning, there was a gap that I could jump over. So I'm going to have to go back there. And, uh... Oh, God. Freaking... <laughs> I think I like the axe better than this first door sword. It's cool being able to block, but I don't think I really even need to block right now. It's hitting for 30, whereas the axe was hitting for 130. Uh, I don't want to use huge weapons in this game by any means, but I, I just gotta go with, with what's better and use my gigantic axe. Oh, I, th I thought he already swung. I heard like a click. I guess it, that was him charging up his ability. Yeah. He attacks straight after that? That's stupid. You guys need to be consistent. Trying to still learn the animations of everything. Uh, we got magic armor. This one's leather helmet. This is a hood. Oh god, it looks the hood looks so much cooler. But I don't need MP. I need more HP for sure. So I'm just gonna go with the whole leather leather armor build here. Yeah, that's right. What you got? You ain't got nothing. So we can sprint and we can also jump. Yes. God, the the, the sounds and everything—they're so cool. They just remind me of my childhood. He did a really good job. He he he. I'm never going to be found here. Well, obviously you were because you died. That stupid human and his petty desire to help the sick one. What a fool. He he. It's far too easy for me to steal the food from them. It won't be long before she dies of her sickness anyways. Aw, he's so mean. Chi, I don't like you, Chi. I'm doing them both a favor. And then he died right after. <laughs> I'm guessing the warden caught up to him and just slaughtered him in his, in his uh, hiding there. Okay, here we go, we gotta run across. God, my character looks so cool with this gigantic axe. <laughs> Tap shift when you're knocked against a wall to roll and escape getting stunned. Okay. So when you're against a wall, you can shift roll away, I guess. See what, this, this is what I'm talking about right here. So you can go through here, and boom, we're back at the beginning. Which leads me to believe you can skip over the whole first boss if you just crouch and... and, and and, and go through and there you go you can actually skip so the note in the beginning is true you don't even have to fight the warden you can just skip over him but you have to find that little uh, spot there in the beginning okay uh, do I have any more levels here it tells you uh, it tells you when you scroll over this this plus here you have two experience points cool uh, drag a piece of equipment here to level it up I like the uh, leather shoulders so they give you, cool, more HP every time you level it up. Um, I don't want to spend both of them on that. This one does 90 damage. The axe is just so good. It, it just, it hits so hard. I don't want to level it up because I want to find a better weapon, but it just hits so so good. So does that mean that I have two points to spend here as well? Um, Lifesteal... 2% extra damage all the time sounds good. So we'll just do that. And if I go back here, do I, yeah, okay. So, so you can, it's true. You spend either points to level up your stats or to level up your equipment. Oh, it's not here. That's right. It's over here. Get out of my way. Backstab you. I don't get how that backstab works. I guess he's sleeping or something because he's facing me. It's not a backstab. Boom. Got over it. Uh, golden Essence. So Golden Essence is uh, basically what souls are when you find the souls on the dead bodies in Dark Souls. If you don't know what that is, so when you die in these games, you lose everything you're holding. You lose all your gold coins in this game. In uh, Dark Souls, you lose all your souls. Um, you can have these gold bars in your inventory, and you can actually like use them, and you get gold. So it's good to use like at a shop or something when you're just that, that much short of you have having gold. Walk's Essence. My legs! Oh, something happens. His legs got chopped off, and his name's Walk. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. I can't run. I was a fool to think I could escape. No. Get back, you monster. Stay away from me. No! I'm guessing he's like backed up to the corner and, and the warden's like slowly just walking towards him and he just has no more energy or maybe his legs got chopped off by the warden already and uh, he's just slowly walking towards him and he just kills him. God, this game, it has, it has like a dark kind of story to it as well. The way ahead will cost one gold piece. Pay? One gold piece? That's chump chains, bitch. I got 46. I'm going to make it rain with my gold pieces. You want one? Here, I'll give you one, and I'll give you five as a tip. Keep the change, motherfucker. Mother... 
Grim Reaper? <laughs> uh, oh, I'm gonna help you row. Roosh. Roosh. Let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help us. I'm gonna help us go faster. Stroke. And sh no, you gotta get on my level here. I'm, you're so slow, Grim Reaper. I'm I'm doing all the work here with my with my rowing. Okay, first city here, the tower. Oh god, the the music is just so cool. Okay, so this is pretty much this is as far as I've gotten the first playthrough, and this is where I'm gonna stop now for the uh, the first playthrough on this game. This was a little bit longer. The other ones are probably gonna be a little bit shorter. I'm not gonna go quite as in depth. So this has been epic. Uh, not this video. This video has been very bad. <laughs> I'm not very good at this game, but the game is called Epic, or at least that's so high, that's how I think it is uh, uh, pronounced. My English uh, no no so good. My English no so good. But anyways, if you like the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Come back for more. Love to have you again sometime. Uh, if you like the video, of course, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. If you want to see me play anything else, you can let me know there as well, or just say hi. I'll say hi back to you. I'll, I'll wave and maybe mention you in the comments, uh, reading your comments later. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again so much. Of course, and game on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode. Thanks again so much for watching, and game on. I'm trying to get you with that last hit. It doesn't work. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> oh you got me. No. <laughs> I was doing so well.